Unfortunately, it wasn't the Blues' day. A huge difference between them and the Reds' profit of £60, who therefore have today's winning score. Coming up, what will our next two teams make at auction, I wonder? We'll see in a bit. Now, we're moving on. Somewhere glorious. Actually, we're going to Bath. What could be nicer than that? Originally built as a hotel at the end of the 18th century, this impressive Georgian building was taken over by the Holborn Museum in 1916. This museum has an individual's collection at its heart. Its founder, Sir Thomas William Holborn. Its treasures were assembled simply for his personal pleasure. And it's going to be my pleasure today to show you some of the finest examples. Since its foundation, the Holborn has attracted numerous further gifts and bequests, but the range and quality of Sir William's collection still shapes the character of the museum today. Marvellous. The son of a minor aristocratic family that settled in Bath in the early years of the 19th century, Sir William collected voraciously and acquired the reputation as a collector of distinction. And nowhere is his collection more distinguished than in the field of Italian Maiolica. The centrepiece of his collection, and some would say the most important piece, is this enormous bowl, which dates from 1495. So this thing is over 600 years old. The joy of Maiolica is that it's tin glazed earthenware. The colors are preserved under a lead glaze and therefore never fade. And the story is the well-known one of Diana at her bath. The myth says that Actian accidentally saw her naked in her bath, and as a result, she scattered him with water, and he was transformed into a stag, and in turn was killed by his own stag hounds. Back to the roundhouse in the middle of Derby. Time to see whether our next set of reds and blues can...